Suppose y is distributed uniformly in the open interval 1 to 6. The probability that the polynomial 3x square plus 6xy plus 3y plus 6 has only real roots is rounded off to one decimal place. So this is a question from engineering mathematics. It's given in a tricky way here actually. Here we have this polynomial 3x square plus 6xy plus 3y plus 6. And they are saying that y is distributed uniformly in open interval 1 to 6. y can take any real value between 1 and 6. Now if that is the case, what is the probability that the polynomial 3x square plus 6xy plus 3y plus 6 has real roots only. Now the polynomial 3x square plus 6xy plus 3y plus 6, we can rewrite it as 3x square plus 6y into x plus 3y plus 6. Now if you see this is a quadratic equation of the form ax square plus bx plus c where a is 3, b is 6y and c is 3y plus 6. Now a quadratic equation of this form has real roots only if b square minus 4ac is greater than or equal to 0. So which will mean this equation will have real roots only if b square that is 6y square minus 4 into a is 3 into c is 3y plus 6 should be greater than or equal to 0. Rewriting, we will get 36y square should be greater than or equal to 36y plus 72 or 36y square minus 36y minus 72 is greater than or equal to 0. Now simplifying that equation, we will get y square minus y minus 2 should be greater than or equal to 0. Now again, what it means is this equation will have real roots if y square minus y minus 2 is greater than or equal to 0. Now to solve for this one, this we can rewrite as y plus 1 into y minus 2 should be greater than or equal to 0. y plus 1 into y minus 2 should be positive. Now this particular function y plus 1 into y minus 2 will become 0 at points y equal to minus 1 or y equal to 2. So if we map all the values of this function on the number line here at point minus 1 and plus 2 this function will become 0. If you substitute minus 1 this part will become 0. If you substitute y equal to plus 2, this part will become 0. So at these points, and at only at these points, this function will become 0. In rest of the points, this function will be either positive or negative. Also, one more point is that at this, at this point, this function becomes 0, and at this point also, this function becomes 0. Meaning, in between these two points, this function will be either positive or negative. Similarly, more than this also, it will be either positive or negative only. It won't be both. Similarly, for less than minus 1 also, it will be either positive or negative only. Now, we will find out what the values are here. And also, before that, in the question, it is given that y is distributed uniformly in the open interval 1 to 6 only. So, in this open interval 1 to 6 only, we are worried what value y will take. So, from 2 to 6, it will be either positive or negative. Similarly, from plus 2 to 1 also, it will be either positive or negative. That is the only thing we are trying to find out here. Now, let us take some point that is greater than plus 2, that is this part of the number line and see what value y gets. Let us say y is 3. 3 is on this part of the line. Okay. So, at y equal to 3, this function becomes y plus 1 into y minus 2 becomes 4. 3 plus 1, that is 4 into 3 minus 2, that is 1. That is 4 into 1 that is 4. Now that is a positive number which means that throughout this part of plus 2 this function will be positive only meaning from 2 to 6 that's what we are worried about this will be this function will be positive. Now coming to y equal to 1 that is a point less than plus 2 and greater than minus 1. At this point the function of the value of the function will be 1 plus 1 into 1 minus 2 that is 2 into minus 1 that is a negative value which will mean that here to here the function will be negative. Now we are not worried about what the function will take at this point because we are only concerned about what function what values it will get between 1 and 6. Now between 1 and 6 we know from 2 to 6 it will be taking positive value and from 1 to 2 it will be taking negative value and it was also given that y is distributed uniformly in the open interval. So probability of choosing any particular point is same only compared to any other point. So the probability of choosing a point from 2 to 6 we can take it as the length of 
this line from 2 to 6 divided by the length of the total line from 1 to 6. The length of the line from 1 to 6 is 5 and it takes positive values in 2 to 6. The length of that line will be 6 minus 2 equal to 4. Therefore, the total probability is 4 by 5 or 0 0.8. 0 0.8 is the answer to this question.